Hey guys, um, quick intro to this video. So I have decided 2018 is the year of the stash. So we've been chatting about, um, you know, the new uh, collections and manufacturers and American crafts and all kinds of things. We've, we've been chatting about this in uh, Tanya and my Facebook group and everybody has an opinion and we're all very, um, well, most of us are not that excited with what we are seeing uh, happening and uh, I don't know, we were just talking about, and I remember I used to get so excited this time of year, you know, with CHA or whatever it's called, Creativation or whatever it is now. Um, I was so excited to see what's coming from all the manufacturers and new collections and what I'll be, I will be playing with in the next month. And um, gradually it's been somehow less and less exciting with each passing year. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe some of it has to do with the fact that I've just been in this community and obsession hobby um, for years now, so maybe it's getting, kind of losing something of the novelty. I have no idea what's going on, but I know I'm not as excited. So, we talked about this, everyone was saying how great it is, you know, for our bank accounts, which is completely true, and how great it is that we can dive into our stash. So I decided I'm going to do my new <laughs> YouTube series, so bad with series, because, you know, you have to follow through. Um, my Distress Oxide, I think, lasted three uh, installments, or was it two? Hmm, don't hate me. So, but I decided that I'm gonna do stash dives. Now, I don't want to commit to anything because I know me and if I'm gonna commit that means that, you know, it'll be something that I have to do and yeah. So, let's just call it the year of the stash. So, I will be digging into my stash and using supplies. I want to do a scrapbook series and I'm going to give also, in case you don't know, I'm on Patreon now. Yay! And I want to thank so, so much to all the people that have joined me there. Um, I'm so grateful. I just, I'm really excited about this. So, I offer all kinds of rewards for people that support me on Patreon, but I also want to bring always new free content to YouTube. That's part of the reason. And you know, it's like a win-win. You get more there, you get more here. So, yeah, so this will be my new series. I'll probably give uh, early access to um, to my patrons, my kind, kind patrons, but it will all be on YouTube and it will all be free. So I hope you will join me. Dig into your stash, grab some stuff, you know, go dig into your old papers and see what excites you. I am just going to do that and right now, and I'll show you Right now, it's gonna happen. Right now. I'm, gonna, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just ate, so maybe, you know, sugar levels go up. Healthy food, only healthy food. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm going to dig into my stash and grab a few things. Not too much, because that's overwhelming. I'll try to think about, ooh, I think I know uh, what I want to scrapbook and um, maybe just grab a photo and then, yeah, and I'll show you what I came up with and we're gonna make a layout using our stash. Woohoo! <laughs> Too much coffee? No, I just had one cup today. I don't know, I'm high on life, people. I'm high on life. So, see you with the goodies. Go grab your goodies. Bye. Okay, guys. So, this is what I um, took out, didn't think too much about it, really gave it about five minutes. And these are the papers that I found, I was pretty sure I had more, but I guess I used them or, I don't know, hid them somewhere? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but this will do. So, this is from Pink Fresh Studios' first collection in 2015, and it was called Happy Things. And, um, yeah, so I'll show you the papers that I have. Do they have names? I don't know. 
Yes, this is called Doodle Borders and Bow Ties. This one is called Dream Big uh, Geo Stripes. And this one is Rustic Triangles Triangle Pattern. And then this is Ombre Mosaic Confetti Circle. So yeah, these are the three, the four that I have. Now I have, I didn't really think about how I'll use them, I don't know. And then these three were kind of ne near them, so I grabbed them. This is actually a HipKit Club exclusive, um, designed by Kim Watson from, I don't know, like, I think it was last summer, but I'm not sure. So, sorry, I don't remember from which kit it was, but obviously I love this side. And then these two are old uh, crate paper papers. This is Confetti RSVP from Maggie Holmes, and then this is from Bloom, it's called Ribbons. And yeah, I pulled them out, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. And then as for embellishments, I just grabbed two boxes. I have like a drawer with about six of six such boxes. And I just grab a, grabbed a couple, and you can see this is like a huge mess. So this one has a bunch of uh, Pink Fresh Studio stuff. I was at some point subscribed to their embellishment kit. I don't know if they still do that. But, I mean, look at this gorgeous thing that Wilna, Wilna designed for one of those kits. This was also, I think, back in 2015, I think that was. But look how beautiful that is. So maybe I'll use that. And then this is from a freckled fawn kit. And then this is just packaging. So I don't know. I do like this alpha. And then this, I think, was part of this um, collection. And, ooh, that's a pretty ribbon here. Oh, and I remember that um, Vilna did this. She had these stencils, which I thought were amazing. And yeah, I love these. But I'm not sure if I want to go into the whole uh, mixed media thing right now, because I do that very often anyway. So maybe we'll do this, you know, classic scrapbooking. Um, and there are certain things like they used to have also these little um, dies in their kits, but I'm so lazy. I don't think I feel like doing that. So, so I bought these out, and I'm not sure there's like enough here to, you know, to excite me. Um, so that's why I brought just another random box which has a bunch of stuff um, with no real uh, reason to them so <laughs> it's no real order or anything or um, logic or anything so I think I'll grab a photo and actually what I wanted to do I have these two photos I'll show you these so these photos I took with my new um, camera which I did the most horrible um, unboxing video and I never put it on YouTube because it was just so bad so it's like yeah so hopefully maybe at some point I'll do that but this uh, instant camera has all kinds of cool features and one of them is that you can uh, do multiple exposures to the same um, you know frame so yeah, so I don't know if you can see that, but this is like two exposures. So one is just a, a view from our balcony. And then the other one was a close-up shot of um, this wisteria, um, like vines and stuff and foliage that we have on our balcony. So you get this really cool, interesting thing. And this is me. <laughs> Um, so one exposure is my selfie and then the other is this uh, play tent that we have for the girls which is it looks like a little circus tent from uh, Ikea 
Ikea. So maybe I'll just do these because they're cute. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move on to um, time lapse. So this is going to be pretty fast, I think, about six minutes because um, it was pretty fast to make. So yeah, I'm going to use these two photos and I'm just trying them out and see what I like. And pretty fast I decided I'm going to use this cute paper that says Dream Big. And this also saves me the trouble of going to search for a title. And yeah, it kind of fits. Um, I'm going to go with it because... I just wanted to scrapbook these photos. I've had them for like a couple of months lying on my desk and um, I think it's just a good opportunity to say a couple of sentences about what, you know, 2018 and just looking forward to what this year has in store for me. I think it's the first year in my life that I started kind of uh, knowing that, you know, I'm going to spend um, what free time I have to um, pursue my dream and try to make it a reality, which is to be a full-time artist. So it is quite daunting, exciting, um, new, and yeah, I'm going to dream big. I have all kinds of things in the works classes, um, you know, goodies, merchandise, other things. And all I need is some time and some discipline. Um, both of these are hard to come by. <laughs> um, you know, just sometimes, you know, suddenly I, I have a little bit of time, but then I'm, I don't know, I have to get into the frame of mind immediately to start working and that doesn't always work. But that's the besides the point. Let's go into the layout. So um, I had in my drawer of uh, die cuts, I had these banners from Heidi Swap that hopefully I showed you. And um, one of the top ones was this one with a mint polka dots and it actually coordinated really well I thought with my paper so I wanted to use it I really was hoping to use the whole thing but uh, I couldn't make it work so uh, I'm gonna try again and again but eventually I give it up and then I had these um, feather stickers that I've had since forever in my stash they also came in one of the pink fresh studio uh, kits when they did that and I'm just trying to use up some of the things that I've had for you know really long time probably um, two years or something if not more and just never found the right time so this little um, die cut thingy is giving me some trouble because it's a little bit big and um, yeah, well, when you fast forward things, they <laughs> don't seem to take as long as it did in real life. <laughs> in real life, I felt like I was moving it around forever until I finally found a place uh, for it. So these also came in a kit and in a Pink Fresh Studio kit. And now I'm just rummaging through that little box and basically using whatever I think will work. Um, we also got this, um, these what I called flare buttons in one of the embellishment kits from Pink Fresh Studio. This was again just <laughs> this is like 2015 I'm guessing I think I can't even remember. So this is all stuff for my stash. It's a little bit you know what I like about um, videos with when I use hip kits or something relatively newer is that I feel like there is a chance like a, a good chance that at least some of the people watching me uh, will have the same supplies but um, but that's also you know completely irrelevant because you can be inspired by colors and design and you know single elements like using a banner or puffy stickers or whatever so um, you know, I don't want people to watch this and kind of wish they had what I'm using, uh, which you can't really get anymore. I don't think so. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you enjoy these uh, stash busting 
uh, videos if you feel inspired and um, let me know what you grabbed from your stash. So these uh, other flare buttons that I'm going to use now, uh, I got it in a nice uh, swap that I took part of and these were sent to me by my swap partner and she has a store so I think you could see that it's Miss, Mrs. Sprimbles uh, in the UK. So she sent me some really adorable stuff and they were at the top of the other box that I pulled out with all the die cuts. So um, I uh, used them, whatever worked, you know, I really didn't overthink it. And this took no time at all, just some layering, some um, stickers, it was, really fun to make super fast and I really enjoyed it so I'm just adding my uh, journaling here and I think that's about it so I'm going to put some close-up shots and yeah I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will go and dig into your stash yeah so this is some uh, Heidi Swap Color Shine, of course, in gold because it makes everything pretty. I had to add lots and lots of splatters. Of course, you could add, I think, also black would look good, but then I wouldn't go so crazy with them. Uh, but they add so much, at least in my opinion. And I'm just wiping off some of the um, mist that got on those puffy stickers. And that's it. That's my layout. I had such a great time making this. I hope you will go dive into your stash. Have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye.